All right, so we are back, and we're getting closer by the day, by the hour, by the minute to Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley on the 29th. And I know you guys are excited, I'm excited, but before we get to fight night, there are some things that we can take a look at and maybe see in these open workouts, press conferences, maybe some little nuances in their strategy, things that they didn't mean to show but actually did, and possibly some of the flaws still set in their technique or their game that, again, we're seeing time and time again, and that is why we're watching today's open workout. So let's get into it, but before we do, guys, I wanna remind you, we have a live stream watch party this Sunday, right here on the channel. I'm letting you know now, we're going live at 3 p.m. PST. I want you to be here. We have, again, some fun stuff planned, some special guests that you guys might be familiar with. Thank you to you all for just supporting me and, and being the best community on the damn platform. I'll see you here 3 p.m. PST on the 29th. So who looked better in this open workout? Was it the Cleveland steamer himself, Jake Paul, or was it Tyron Thick Thighs Woodley? The breakdown. Let's go. All right, so Tyron has a shirt on. It says, life isn't easy or fair. When you get your chance, make sure you turn up. If he just means in life in the in the motivational way, then sure, yes, 100% turn the fuck up. But if we're talking your music, then I'm just going to have to, yeah, I'm just going to have to turn it back down. <laughs> Listen, Tyron's always had fast hands. Always. Anybody that tells you Tyron Woodley doesn't have devastating power has just not watched him fight. I mean, he absolutely does, and his right hand is dynamite. Something that we can look for with Tyron. Yes, his hands are fast, we know this. He's powerful, we know this. I want to see his footwork, not only as he's avoiding punches, but in combinations forward and back, because that is a key indicator as to how comfortable Tyron is in just boxing range, right? He's able to move forward and back when he's not punching, cool. But when he's in the fight, he's going to have to either rely on the coaching that he's gotten for these last four months that have shored up his footwork in boxing, or he's going to go back to his instincts in MMA. Loves that pull right hand. We know that. We know that. That's that's probably, outside of the overhand right, that's probably Tyron's biggest weapon. Is trying to catch an overconfident, lunging forward Jake and pulling on him and banging the right hand behind it. All right, so we got Tyron on the mitts. Little jab. Catch the jab behind it, making sure that hand stays up next to his face. This is the, the, the stuff that worries me from Tyron, though, right? I know, again, just pad work. But we're seeing him kind of just stick around in the same spot. Then the head movement comes. But even off the throws here, right? We're on the center line. On the center line. On the center line. We're not moving our head anywhere as we're throwing, right? And that's not to say you got to turn on a heavy metal song and start fucking head banging every time you're throwing shots. I don't need like... like <laughs> All I'm saying is a little head movement goes a long way, especially if you're throwing in combinations in the pocket. Again, just mitt work, but that's something that you don't want to see is multiple shots in the same spot boom 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 with the head on the center line now he does move it after that's good double jab from Tyron once again boom boom to the body yes sir boom boom to the body this is the right hand they want this is Tyron's best weapon that right there blink and you'll miss it it's quick and it's powerful bang big time shot that's the one if Jake gets caught leaning Jake is overthrowing his right hand the counters are coming this is dangerous to me because yes tyron's parrying a jab but he's parrying a jab to his stomach or his chest because this is more muay thai based when you start parrying kicks away from the chest and from the you know the solar plexus muay thai fighters will do that but again in boxing these small movements they make so much of a difference in the fight and let's just say jake wants to go to the body with a jab and he puts it out there two or three or four times and then all of a sudden your mind's thinking Psh, i'm gonna parry this and come over with the right hand but then he doesn't go to the body with it, or maybe he fakes it, and all of a sudden, this beard on Tyron, I know it's well-kept and fresh as f but it's going to get cleaned out with one of these left hooks if Jake continues to do that while Tyron's parrying with his right hand. I know, again, just an open workout. You just don't want to continuously see him dropping that right hand as like a lever to kind of parry away because it's a big movement, and it takes a lot of time, and a feint will expose it. And another thing that always interests me is the way Tyron changes direction. It's almost robotic right there, right? Watch him pivot off this lead foot. Pivots sets and resets and sets again and then we're ready to go oh snap they took the shirt off tyron he is showing off them fucking pectorials baby and yes i know i'm making a big deal about tyron's fitness and no one wins boxing matches by being cut to shreds and bouncing your titties more than my checks bounce anytime i try to sign up for a premium only fans tyron took this seriously and not only did he take it seriously but he looks to be in good shape at his walking around weight which is different from the 170 that he fights in in the ufc or in mma He's actually around that 200 pound mark and he's looking again in pretty good physical shape and it's a sign of a dedicated fighter we saw ben Askren; he looked like a bag of flour that got crushed by all the other groceries in your shopping cart 
This guy didn't. He took it seriously. I gotta ask you this. When people learn a new language, they may be speaking in English, sometimes they're still thinking in Spanish. Is it like that in the transition from the mindset of an MMA fighter to start thinking like a boxer? Do you, I did, how quick did I you did start throw two like spinning back fists in sparring. Can you imagine if Tyron Woodley throws a fucking spinning back fist, clips Jake on the chin, and that's the way this fight ends? Can you imagine? How disappointed boxing fans would be and how MMA fans would be going absolutely apeshit. Yes, Tyron would get sued into oblivion and this whole thing would be a travesty that Showtime would never approach again. But for that one moment, can you imagine? I never got into this game to be famous. I got into it to be one of the greatest. Yeah, forget about falling in and out of love with you. I got that. <laughs> First of all, that shirt is not supposed to look like a dark red wine. He is sweating his ass off in Cleveland, Ohio. And then he comes with a falling in and out of love with you line to Tyron Woodley. Look at Luke Thomas, fucking loving it. Oh, I love the morning combat guys. They're hilarious. So that's Tyron's workout, but now we have to look at Jake's. And yes, I did see some pictures on Twitter. We got the crotch sniffing smelling salts that are emanating from Jake's acro yoga poses. So fuck me, let's, let's get into it. <laughs> Jake shaking the hands of people in a global pandemic. Oh shit, get out of the way, lady! You must not understand, this is the problem man-child himself. One half of the balding bros, and he's running past you, has to hit a Miles Garrett swim move with his short-sleeved turtleneck on just to get by while you're swiping right on Tinder, all right? Have some damn respect. Jake! Pop! Holy shit! <laughs> Dude, I respect it. The man just blew out one half of his lungs on an open workout for Showtime that no one gave a f about just to introduce Jake Paul with a 10 second intro. That's that dude's goaded. All right. So, yep. OK, we're getting right to it, man. Acro yoga in the middle of a boxing ring. Let's get it. Oh, we going barefoot. Oh, well, I guess you got to go barefoot. <laughs> it just looks so funny stupid i guess do what you got to do it just and and i know acro yoga is apparently very helpful but it just looks like two people ran away from cirque du soleil and ended up in cleveland ohio <laughs> i mean the balance has to take some sort of effort and he, he definitely is using his back muscles to stay up there okay okay don't please don't don't do the thing where you know does jake have tassels hanging off of his shoes jake's mom graduated high school for him he did not. So these tassels on his shoes are the closest things he gets to a graduation ceremony. Okay, I turned the sound on for just a second to see what I could hear. Because apparently someone said something to Jake and this acro yoga guy flips him off. Listen to Brian Campbell have one of those Freudian slips. <laughs> Listen to this. Uh, I mean, both brothers, Willie. Really, I didn't love the Floyd. <laughs> By the way, if you thought you were going to get something different from a Jake Paul open workout, you were out of your mind because this is what he does. He's not going to show a single thing to us. Not one. I'd be surprised if they don't just call it right now. After he's done jump roping, that's probably the end of it, guys. Oh, what's Jake gonna do? Is he actually gonna is he gonna move around a bit? Maybe some shadow boxing? Maybe some shadow boxing from the great Jake Pauler? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this dude can't take anything seriously. He can't. If he's doing what I think he's doing, this dude's an ultimate troll. He's turned southpaw. Was he going to throw shots at a southpaw? Okay, nice jab, Jake, at a southpaw. Very good. Look at BJ acting like it's legit. Like, no, this is not something he's going to do. I hope that none of you guys actually thought that Jake's going to come out and, and switch stances. And not if you did, it's not your fault because that's what he's showing you, right? That's okay, fair play. But I can guarantee you, except for maybe in the first couple of opening seconds to maybe troll Tyron a bit before they actually engage, he will not be boxing out of Southpaw in the least bit. This is, again, one of Jake's troll kind of marketing schemes to play mind games with Tyron Woodley, which I don't think anybody really believes that knows Jake Paul and knows how he fights. He's not going to do this. This is just another way to try to get in the head of Tyron Woodley. It's funny. I'll give him that. It's fucking hilarious, but <laughs> Jake will not be fighting Southpaw. The thing that I love the most about it is that his team is acting like it's serious. Look at them all. You know that they... <laughs> I know Jake Paul's not the most experienced boxer, but I know he knows better and he's faster than to throw his hook like that. He's throwing it like a right-hander that doesn't know how to throw a hook at a southpaw. Ha, ha. Listen, I'm talking about it. It probably got a lot of attention online. So inside the mind of Jake Paul, if you know how to somewhat read it, you can see that, again, it's just to get people talking. That's what this does. 
It has no validity, he won't do it in the fight, but he knows if he does something outlandish or something that doesn't make a lot of sense, if people are gonna laugh, call him an idiot, say it looks terrible, it's trash, he's gonna get knocked out, but it's gonna gain him a lot of attention and they're gonna tune in to see if he actually does it. Watch off the left hand. Boom, boom. Naturally, he wants to roll this way under his right hand. Look, he, <laughs> off that left hand, he should be rolling under it, right? And then the hook over. But naturally, he wants to go to his right because, again, he's used to throwing, boom, and rolling under the right hand. So watch, he gets confused underneath and ends up going to his right. <laughs> he throws out the straight left, and instead of rolling to his left under that shot protected by that, he gets confused and goes back to his right. Because why? He's used to being a righty, and this is all bullshit. <laughs> That's why. Something I will say, even if Jake is kind of fucking around here, I do like the changing of angles, right? While this is a little bit jokey, you can see kind of his mindset for how he wants to at least move in the fight, right? Obviously, again, this isn't telling of how he's going to actually fight, but the angles, the head movement, the slipping, the rolling, that stuff you can take away from this. As goofy and as, as awkward as it is, all the stuff after the punch is legitimate. <laughs> What in God's name is this? I want you guys to watch BJ. He tried not to, but watch his leg right here. Ah, damn it. BJ, I've had you on the show. No, dude. Don't get mixed up in this. <laughs> Listen, Jake is one half of the balding bros, but I think he's going to have to retire from the Double Dutch crew and join a breakdancing team. I'm just saying he could even invent the team no longer. Is he a bouncing balding bro? This is instead the breakdancing b-boy balding bunch led by the Jake Pauler himself, problem man child, in the front and center with his flamingo dance. Ah, there we go. Yeah, there it is. All right, so there you have it. Open workouts in the books. I mean, like I said, it's kind of what we expected. Jake was going to come out and troll and do the acro crotch sniff, and Tyron came out and actually showed some improvements in his boxing skill, at least, you know, to the general public, we have known that Tyron has had great hands and he's got good hand speed. And yes, he can put combinations together moving forward and back. I would like to see a little bit more of the stepping off the center line. But again, all the work now is done. We're going to see on fight night what both guys really have. So with that being said, guys, we have one more video before we all meet together on Sunday, 3 p.m. here on this channel. I want to see you all in there. But before that... We got the press conference, and I will see you guys tomorrow because the questions still remain. Is Jake Paul ready to perform in front of his hometown the biggest fight of his life? And I hate to say it, but if he wins, the sky's the fucking limit for the kid. Or is it Tyron Woodley coming in to shut down the hype train and make his heroic debut in boxing? I don't have the answers to those questions. We got one more video tomorrow that'll possibly help. But ultimately, on fight night, the 29th, right here with me in live stream format. Guess we'll find out.